Good morning, friends, and welcome to another amazing episode of Get In, Get Fit series. And today we are in session 73. And I have an amazing friend of mine here. I would like to thank Usha Madam for this uh, kind reference. And uh, uh, I started speaking to Rajeshri almost a month back. And uh, we clicked off from the word go. And, uh, you know, the first conversation I had with her started somewhere at around 10, 10, 15. We went up till 11, 30, 12, and we Love still it. did not feel like dropping yeah, the know. call down. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. I agree with you. <laughs> yes. And when, uh, it when, is... when we, when, yeah, when we click on with the same wavelength people, no? So time doesn't uh, really matter, I think. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And it was so much fun talking to you, Rajeshri. And today I'm waiting to actually introduce you to my entire uh, friends at the Get In, Get Fit series. And uh, uh, before that, let me give you a short uh, introduction about Rajeshri. Rajeshri is a commerce graduate uh, and has done post-graduation in human resources. Uh, she has uh, done NCC during her college days and she is into power flying and uh, gliding. She loves cooking, uh, baking, reading and listening to music. I'm wondering how does she find time to run <laughs> and bake and cook? Uh, anyway, we're going to find out more about that during the talk today. And she's also into running, gymming and yoga. That's for fitness. She's done eight 21 kilometers, which is half marathon and more than 20, uh, 10 kilometers. And she's a coordinator for a number of events uh, at Chennai. Uh, and it's a pleasure, uh, you know, talking to Rajeshri because when I asked her to talk, she said, but yeah, I'm a very simple person. I'm just a mother of two children and, you know, this and that. And I said, this is how it makes you so special. How do we balance everything and go ahead? So uh, with no further ado, I want to bring about Rajeshri here onto this platform and over to you Rajeshri. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dr. Vidya. But she doesn't like calling her a doctor. So I'll just restrict to Vidya. Uh, thank you so much uh, for inviting me to this wonderful session and a great time to interact with your friends. And um, I'm also thankful to uh, Usharani ma'am who, who, who uh, gave me this idea to come and speak to such a wonderful crowd. First of all, a big, uh, I have to clap for you, Dr. Vidya, that uh, you have uh, initiated this wonderful group of get in and get fit. So uh, this is again a, a nice initiative on your part to make people uh, fit by being at home during this uh, pandemic time. Uh, for me, Mm, uh, fitness means uh, it is a continuous journey. It is not a destination. Like today I have done this or by this time I have finished this. So that's the end of it. No. So for me, this, this fitness journey started uh, very early in my life during my school days, I should say. But during those times or during those age, we don't really think that, no, we are doing certain things for our fitness sake because we are all children. So we enjoy going out, playing, uh, involving ourselves in all kinds of sports activities. So in school also, I was, uh, I, I used to play uh, basketball uh, with my schoolmates after school. My parents used to say that school itself leaves around 5.30. After that, you want to take an hour of practice and then come back home, it will be too late. But then I was so keen to do some uh, sports apart from being in the class and playing the general games with other children. So uh, from there, uh, I, I really wanted every time to do something physical in whatever way I can. So then I graduated into college and then during my college time also, I was looking out for some uh, sports activity, but uh, unfortunately there was not a very big team or kind of thing in my college. So uh, then my brother was there in NCC. So I thought, let me join that at least. So I had, I went there and I got selected and then 
this again the my fitness journey continued there uh, you must all be aware that being in ncc they have a lot of camps and then they have practice sessions every weekend and there we do cross country parades and everything so that used to keep me fit and physical and at the same time i used to do enjoy this outdoor activities a lot so that helped me again so after my college i was working that at the same time i was doing some running walking and all in my home time i am i was uh, basically from nagpur which is in maharashtra so i did my school and college from there then after that uh, after my marriage i have moved to uh, chennai which is like 23 years ago so this change uh, of place uh from a very cosmopolitan place which for me at the time was nagpur uh to chennai which was a slightly very orthodox and kind of a little uh, narrow minded society when i came in as as of now it is none to um, any other cosmopolitan place um, which you go and see so uh, going out and doing activity as a new bride in my family was a little difficult for me in the beginning so um, i used to just tell my husband come let's go for a walk in the morning na odane irke everybody will oh kaakala endu ponuma abdin so um so the, the, but still i uh, somehow managed to do it at least for a half an hour to 40 minutes in the morning then children come in, came into my life and then uh, the, that that family life started so then i was not finding enough time to do uh, uh, a committed physical activity so i thought let me do something by being at home so i started doing this yoga or um, whenever the whenever i am free from my work or whenever the children are put to sleep or something like that so i used to do my in laws were pretty helpful to me and they looked after my children so and my husband also was a very supportive when i used to say that no i have to spend some time for myself so like this the life continued and then the children grew up i also but then uh, with uh, my husband's work and all we 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 got relocated to another country for some years there also my um, this uh, fitness journey was a continuous thing though i won't say that with the same intensity i was doing which i was doing during my college or school days no it had taken uh, it had slowed down also so just to keep me motivated that i was doing this. then uh, uh, i never realized that no uh, such a long time has gone um uh, with the children as they grew up and all that no um, suddenly uh, one fine morning i realized that i have put on a lot of weight and i am not able to do certain things uh, which i was very comfortably and uh, with ease i was doing so that became a wake up call for me um, then i had a discussion with my husband that no and now now i should do something really committed and uh, to keep my fitness journey going on uh, because uh, nobody is getting younger though we say that no we are young at heart by and we are always 16 and all those things but the age the body also ages with you with so many hormonal changes so many biological changes that happens and after 40 and 50 it is really really necessary for everyone to be uh, fit into some respect so that you no know, you enjoy a very healthy and a, a good life so with that uh, that that uh, what i said as a wake up call was um, when i weighed myself <laughs> it was it was the weighing scale was showing 80 kilos <laughs> so i never thought in my life though i i would have reached that because i never weigh myself so um, what happened uh, after that is um, i was i was uh, checking with my husband as to how to go about reducing my weight because by sitting at home and going for a small walks and here and there i won't be able to do it i have to do this because uh, with weight gain you get so many health problems as well and suddenly uh, during my one of my annual health checkup also 
my um, thyroid hormones suddenly had gone up. So my doctor said that, no, you can do some physical activity, committed for half an hour to 40 minutes every day with yoga and some medicines she gave. So that, that again was a, like an alarm bell for me. So I registered myself with a gym, uh, which is close to my house. That was a motivation that, oh, okay, this is close to my house. So I'll go and come. So after the initial um, uh, hurdles, I somehow continued with the gym. And then there, there I thought, uh, why not to participate in some event? which will keep me motivated to do this activity. Otherwise, the gym also, people join and they discontinue. They don't come often. So this to maintain this regularity in my routine, I, I, I mm, participated in, a, uh, the, in my first marathon, which is uh, the Pinkathon. So there I registered for the basic three kilometers. You won't believe I registered for uh, three kilometers. So uh, that for that three kilometers also, I had to literally practice in the gym with my trainer. And she was giving me constant motivation saying that, ma'am, you can do it, ma'am, you can do it. So that's how I uh, started my marathon journey. And I completed my three kilometers, which I felt like, like on the top of the moon, saying, thinking that, no, oh God, I have completed my first marathon, something uh, that was that that really motivated me and that was weighing on me also like no okay i had to break that mental uh, block that no i can also go out and do some activity after that long period of gap so uh, see walking and all running was a little, dif little difficult and it was different also so uh, the but but the, when i saw the crowd and when i saw so many people into the uh, uh, fitness journey it's really a journey and I, I really appreciated each and everyone there. And then when I finished, when others also finished, I saw that euphoria on their face that no, oh God, I achieved something. It's, it was like a medal, Olympic medal for me to do. The one person who was into MCC and who had done so much of physical activity, that three kilometers run gave me that a big break. So um, then started my I started participating in uh, many of the events and one of my friends uh, in my gym who happened to be a part of a running group in Ashok Nagar called uh, CRPP which is Chennai Runners Pillar Pacers uh, she told me why don't you come and join this group uh, you will have some company to run along with you and in the same time you can practice also so that's how my association with um, Pillar Pacers started and uh, I must say that it's a vibrant, amazing group, amazing in the sense, amazing in all respects. Uh, I, I, I get really motivated to come and run with them. I get inspired from so many people in the group. Uh, so many of them have done so many big, big events and with uh, pace, uh, with distance at this pace and that pace and all. Uh, it was like in the initially when I joined, I, I was thinking, what is this? They are talking about pace and then cadence and so many uh, jargons. No, I was like confused. Oh, all these things are so many things are there in running. I thought that you have to just wear your shoes, put on your track pant and just, just go running. So I, I, it, it, this, um, this, uh, this group or this association with so many beautiful people. Uh, gave uh, opened up a bigger, wider world for me in the fitness journey. So, um, and you, you know, uh, nobody was like, no, I have done this, I have done that, and all those things. Everyone was down to earth. They were so ready to help you with whatever um, uh, doubts you had with respect to running. That improved and that motivated also and, uh, and uh, I, it came into my routine. So like you get up, brush your teeth and uh, you know, have your bath, do your puja, eat your breakfast. This running of 40, 45 minutes every day has become a part of me. So this, this, this is what is more important uh, to all of us who, I won't say young or, or older people or middle-aged or anything. Uh, the moment you uh, say that, no, you want to be fit. So 
fitness doesn't come like that it has to be uh, you have to uh, have a lot of dedication for that and it, you have to you need also need to have a lot of discipline uh, discipline with respect to um, the commitment that you have made to yourself and uh, discipline with respect to the food the lifestyle and there's so many things that that come into this uh, fitness journey so uh, you don't you can't say that no for a year i will do now i am fit so now let me not do no that it doesn't work like that even you are fit even you have achieved your goal like you wanted to reduce your weight or you wanted to improve your physical fitness or you wanted to mm, uh, feel good or whatever it is but never stop never stop it you don't have to uh, participate in any race to prove your fitness no i will not say that no you need to really participate in anything uh, you just have to be committed to yourself uh, and do uh, all the physical activities that you want to do in a in a comfortable manner that which suits you you don't have to look here and there and you you can take inspiration from people you can talk to them you can find out ways and means but your body is yours you cannot do what others are doing you cannot be like usain bolt or you cannot be like uh, uh, other any other runner um, or any other uh, physical fitness person who must be doing that activity for quite some time if you start suddenly and do and you no know, mentally prepare yourself to achieve that it is not possible first of all you have to make yourself comfortable for whatever you are doing whether it is a yoga whether it is a running whether it is walking whether it is cycling whether it is climbing stairs or anything anything that you feel that no this will keep me fit it has to be a committed thing and it has to be it has to be taken like a journey like you keep on doing every day you bath every day you eat every day you watch television every day you listen to music every day so this this particular regimen of yours should become an every day part of you. let it be a 3 kilometers normal easy run walk whatever it is but do it on an every day basis and um, there can be times like this pandemic when no the everything is shut and then you feel oh now what i should do so you should find ways and means to keep yourself occupied so there are a lot of online platforms they give lot of activities to you one of such uh, platforms is dr vidya's get in get fit also which has motivated i know i think uh, would have motivated many people to join and be a part of such amazing group which will motivate you to get up at a particular time and do some activity for yourself and that has to be done you have to give that 40 45 minutes of your entire 24 hours for yourself and um, and i'm sure i'm sure everybody will surely enjoy that activity but let it be anything but again i will say that no see fitness is one thing and then if you are happily doing that is a, a very big thing so uh, for that happiness for that uh, internal happiness i mean to say that no you should feel happy from inside so that no i have done this today i am happy you should feel refreshed rejuvenated all the time so this 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 can motivate you only when you do something for yourself every day so it could be reading it could be cooking it could be baking it could be anything you whatever you enjoy doing if you like singing you just sing you don't bother that no uh, what the other person will say how they will take mm, uh, for me that is what it is uh, the, the, uh, whatever i like i do it and um, and my family has been really supportive of that i love cooking i love baking so these gives these are my stress bursters at home and uh, whenever i cook for my family when i the children i see their happy faces that ma you evlo nana panirke evlo nalla bake airke this is so soft and all those comments from them no it really keeps uh, make me go on and uh, this this kind of small happiness you may feel that no enna samcha every appreciate panna pod no i feel that no those kind of small small appreciations in your everyday 
makes you happy and that uh, that happiness that happiness only helps you going forward and uh, continue with whatever journey you are into your profession you are into see need not be that no everyone has to have a lot of free time and uh, no as a housewife i am a housewife i have comparatively a lot of free time to do my activity at my own pace but not many are like that well like there are a lot of people who are working they have a tight packed schedule for themselves but whatever it is if you take out that 40 45 minutes of your time and commit yourself for some physical fitness activity something that gives you a lot of happiness and refreshes you from inside outside everything i would say please go ahead and do it don't look at your age age is just a number so as you age you need this physical uh, or this fitness and fitness at any age is a plus i would say when i see 80 year old and 85 year olds are so happy and uh, you no know, they they radiate that happiness to others i feel oh i i should also be enjoying the same kind of uh, life when i am that old i don't know i'm just keeping my fingers crossed i don't know uh, that um, god has given me how much life to early uh, but whatever days i am given i want to make full utilization of that by involving myself in each and every activity that i can do that is achievable by me and if you do it something with discipline like with your diet and uh, a, a little bit of a restriction on yourself little bit you can cheat yourself uh, on few days and no you can take rest you can do all those things but but if it if, if you consider that as a journey and i'm sure i'm sure everyone who is present here will enjoy a a fit fit life and for many many more thank you i think uh, it's it's time up uh, vidya <laughs> no no i'm uh, absolutely enjoying <laughs> your journey uh, and the simplicity in what you were trying to tell us actually get in get fit uh, a little about that uh, get in get fit actually started uh, with four basic pillars heart body mind and soul and today your topic as how you shared you were talking about all these four uh, points uh, making yourself yeah. happy uh, radiating happiness from within uh, to the external world age is not a number uh, and uh, you know uh, soul searching with your cooking and uh, uh, reading and listening to music and Uh, each word what you actually spelt out today uh, was so very resonating with our uh, you know four pillars and uh, when you spoke it even without me telling about it i feel uh, that you know we have done something good for everybody over here uh, basically get yeah. get with started around 2 years back and we didn't have an agenda mm-hmm. at that point of time uh, we just got out uh, 40 minutes every day to do exercise and i'm so grateful again you spoke about that you said 30 to 40 minutes every day and i should thank my mentors here uh, i have nine mentors who have been you know giving their expertise every day 6 to 6:40 in the morning and uh, you know uh, what you spoke about discipline is what we have tried to inculcate as a uh, as a kind of a habit as a kind of a discipline within the get and get fit series and each of your words were pearls of wisdom my dear rajshri uh, i just want to come over and you thank you so much and uh, you know <laughs> you so said much. yeah i'll give yes, a virtual <laughs> hug to you and uh, what you said <laughs> yeah, what can i speak i'm not a vidya you can jump over to the other screen and then hug her. exactly come in sir that's exactly what i feel <laughs> Uh, i'm going to do that shortly uh, now that everything is opened up i think you know we all up, yeah. uh, we need to really meet up and have fun and i'll be hosting sure. all of you one day soon uh, i'm just crossing fingers for a few more people from our team to get well and then uh, i'll be there with all of you uh, and such a very simplified uh, uh, easy reckoner for anybody to start even if they have not started so far rajeshri even listening to your yes. talk those simple steps would make a world of difference i know many of yes. them are there to share their thoughts so i'm waiting uh, usha ma'am has already opened her uh, account so over to you usha ma'am when i first when i first contacted rajeshri 
and told her that she has to speak. She said, "Oh my God, what will I speak? What will I speak?" <laughs> Raji, you simply rocked, Raji. Really awesome. Thank you it so much, so ma'am. Nice ma you. It was so nice hearing it is, you. It is, in, ma'am. It is uh, inspiring people like you, Kannan sir, in the group. No, we all feel so motivated and inspired every day, every minute, ma'am. So you, you guys Thank are really you. big pillars. for us from crppi and we all looked up to you guys only for such i keep telling people everybody in our group when i was there that no you please look up at those people you are complaining now that no you are now i am not able to come i am not able to run they are being at home for the last two years and she has been doing all her activities so normally so why can't you do it why you find excuses god <laughs> you thank you, you so much ma'am thank you so much you are an aunt. No, Rajendra, <laughs> you were amazing. You know, even even during this pandemic, you made the the group so active. The group was so active even during the pandemic. You did an yes. awesome job, Rajendra, and love to hear you. Yes. Thank you so much for coming and uh, sharing you. your experience with our group. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Most welcome. It's wonderful. Yes, somebody else can speak now. I'm over. Yes, yes. Kanan sir, I'm waiting for your, uh, you know, sharing your thoughts right when, now. <laughs> when daily marathon has said whatever she said, yes. we all has to agree. <laughs> okay. She was a great motivator to many of us, and she has introduced so many new activities in the in our running group. which virtually made us run every day almost 3 months that was something we never experienced earlier and thank you so much kannan she was a very thank good so uh, coordinator for that two years period or one year period three years three years three years ah huh? three years two two years two two, two years oh. yeah. yeah we had a great time during her as the coordinator and coordinator. she used to be physically present i know how difficult it is to be present every day being a coordinator being a coordinator uh, for crpc earlier but she was always there very smiling person and uh, a good motivator as well thank you rajesh thank you sir thank you so okay. much thank you sir thank you so much i am very much appreciating you uh, rajesh ji i am going to uh, uh you know uh, definitely uh, share a few of their comments before the next person comes in so dr vijaya suresh says what a wonderful session rajeshri ma'am lots of inspiring hearts around us kannan sir and sudha ma says thank you for being a good motivator uh, sudha and uh, uh, sudha ma says that and roda says great pointers rajeshri thanks it was good listening to you ambika says manav seva as madhav seva god will bless you abundantly ma'am kanan sir again says 45 minutes of early morning activity keeps you fit and you find lot of free time to complete other planned activities uh, she uh, he also says she was one of the coordinators of crpp who has introduced few new activities to keep all of us running on daily basis enjoyed uh, you know being uh, under your tenure and usha ma uh says uh, rajeshri a rocking dear good to hear you rajeshri paced me to the finish line in the spcm and that was my best timing for 10k a good vibrant group with like mindedness always helps helps to achieve your goal surya ma says wonderful session thank you i've got all these screenshots for you rajeshri i know uh, i'm so going to share all this to you soon uh nevertheless yeah. anybody else wants to come up and speak uh, over to you yes ma'am ambika here ma'am thank you so much for this wonderful session navidya ma'am and rashi ma'am thank you so much for your experience ma'am because it really uh, very very important for beginners like us ma'am myself mm -hmm. and my sister and my friends have uh, joined two months before only we joined the uh, get in fit in group so yeah. really we feeling very blessed ma'am it's it's really a blessed who has got the blessing they only can able to do the yoga and the exercise and all ma'am and as i yeah. uh, mentioned in the chat box manav seva madhav seva people who live for others god's blessings will be them with always with them because you said mm -hmm. na see how many days god will give definitely god will give more abundant days ma'am because through you so many people have to be come forward motivated and they have to come with a lots of talents ma'am 
so thank you so much for this wonderful session and at this time i want to say my thanks to kannan sir sudha ma'am surya ma'am usha ma'am and parvati ma'am and above all uh, our vidya ma'am so thank you so much all my gurus they are all my gurus ma'am mentors ma'am so every day each and every day i am feeling very fresh and energetic because of them so thank you so much varga valamudan god's blessings you, uh, with you all thanks thank you so thank you so much uh, ambika and uh, no i i really wish that no we all should meet and uh, if you can come out and do the activities also it will be good for you uh, see this kind of yes, uh, i will come last week only i started sorry to interrupt yeah. ma'am last week only yeah. first time i have started with my sister 5 yeah. kilometers yeah. of running ma'am first time in my life time because of all <laughs> your inspiration my team inspiration ma'am thank you so much. definitely we will meet ma'am yes yes thank you yeah ah uh, yes rajesh you were going on saying something so continue no no i said uh, no it is really good to come out and uh, do the activities now uh, with the restrictions on the pandemic getting a lot easier so um, if there are restrictions then i would not advise anybody to uh, come out and do it uh, these kind of platforms like zoom and all is really good wherein you can do all your activities from home and achieve your fitness at the same time and you can keep it keep it up with the uh, with whatever fitness uh, fitness schedule you have but if you can come out and do it whatever little bit that fresh air in the morning it, it really refreshes you for the entire day so without um, feeling lazy um, you you set up a time for yourself it, it need not be very early like 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock um, maybe 5:30 if you can start by 6 and finish off by 6:45 so it's just a matter of 45 minutes and then you you will see that the entire day is so refreshing for you you are ready for any activity during the day whether you have to run behind your children whether you have to go for shopping whether you you want to do so many things during the day at home you cook you look after the house and those who go to office and all they have so many things to do so this this what the i it is my personal experience during this 3 4 years of running no this 45 minutes of workout in the morning has really really brought a lot of improvement and you uh, know in me within though i was always a um, fitness uh, enthusiast but you know there were a lot of restrictions like children have to go to school and then you have people at home you have to look after so many things so uh, this finding this what uh, means the, the same kind of excuse everybody was giving i was also i think maybe giving to myself are chalo let me leave this today i'll do it tomorrow so this postponement illa that if you can really do it um, there is nothing left and uh, this this initiative that you have started and we have also we also have certain people who are conducting these kind of strength training sessions in our within our uh, group within our running group so these these activities have kept everyone uh, you know fit even during the pandemic time being at home we are not stressed like many people are saying ayyo veetla irundende engalukku romba stressed ah irukke velila ponom velila ponom edana pannano adha pannu so we never felt that too we are at home and still we are stressed because we were doing these activities at home we were seeing so many people on the zoom so we were connected so uh, when the pandemic came this kind of things uh, really kept us all connected we see each other's face and that smile on everyone's face and that um, that small talks in the morning with your coach or with your with people like you with a smiling face you feel your day is done your day is made and now you are ready to take the day in your <laughs> <laughs> absolutely well said uh, you know even to hear a good morning at 6 am uh, yes, it yes. it makes so uh, much of a difference and as you said uh, uh, thanks to the technology even though we were physically distant we were socially connected and uh, yes. you know thanks to zoom thanks to the current and uh, thanks to everybody <laughs> who uh, you know stepped up we none of them said oh i don't know how to operate 
operate. So people started learning how to operate these uh, technologies and use it to their benefit. And uh, I'm so yes. uh, grateful to God that, you know, all of us could uh, bring together a kind of a unison of uh, positive energy. Uh, and I'm mm. sure uh, people started Googling to find out what health was, what immunity was, how was, uh, how is it to take <laughs> care of your health? And we were there to give them solutions. And as you said, very rightly, you know, the fresh air which falls on the face in the morning, uh, if you can't step yes. out of the house, uh, then at least open the window and start, sit next to it and breathe, uh, you know, fresh air. The if fresh you have air. the energy to go up on the terrace and uh, run like Usha ma'am does, uh, you know, you just have to run up and down the stairs and uh, she used to show uh, so many posts of hers uh, on the uh, terrace. So I think it's just a decision away. And um, yes. you were so uh, very, uh, you know, uh, blunt in terms of uh, simplicity. You broke it down to so many simple steps today for us, uh, Rajeshri. And uh, you <laughs> made us realize that, you know, anything is possible, but you take a decision possible. and do it every day. Yes. <laughs> and uh, yes. thank you yes. so much. I mean, it was absolutely no, no fantastic. Vidya, no wonder she was a coordinator for three years. <laughs> Absolutely, Usha ma'am, uh, you said it. I mean, you know, it, it means a lot. See, uh, everybody, instead of giving excuses, if you can find out the reasons why you want to yeah. uh, work out, uh, that makes a hell of a lot of a difference. And uh, we have great people in our team, Rajeshri. I mean, you know, people are mm -hmm. there who uh, uh, have uh, won a lot of achievements in their master uh, achievers uh, here. Uh, we have Rhoda who has written, I cycle every day. It's so beautiful when the wind is on your face. Absolutely true. Yes. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's uh, age is not a, a criteria. It's the decision which is a criteria. No. And uh, our group has people from 20 years to 85 years. And uh, uh, all I can say is everybody tries to become a better version of themselves from what they were yesterday. I think that's the competition yes. we are in. And, <laughs> and <laughs> we are enjoying ourselves. So thank you so much, yes. Rajeshri. You thank are a you. darling today. Uh, and thank you, Usha ma'am, for, uh, you know, uh, interacting and uh, all the other delegates. Doria ma'am wants to say something. <laughs> <laughs> it's very really good. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, thank you, Vidya. Yeah, that was the Utravaria Lerko, Utravan the Akil Lerko, the Triple Lerkare, the Padisha Lerkanga, Elarme under the Jumola, one hour on the daily or good morning solute, and the Rajasi Madame Solomari, they were then happy or Chiramakai Lerk. As a good design, the technology that you could thank, and we could thank you yourself only. <laughs> we are all in other places in daily morning on the park and less and those my learning but to the high solely good morning and the day Nanar Kazakuan the Karna Nida. Yes, 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 correct. Thank you, so much. Can a good night to Padron Rarzapo. I am in Latin. Alara, Yanare with the path to the Sakaran the community, but yeah, very Thank you, okay. Ma. Thank, Thank you so Absolutely. much for joining.